Today we're diving into part three of our Getting Started with Core Cutting series. We're going to take a look th today at live TV streaming services and helping you pick the right one for you. Throughout this series of videos, which I have a link to down below in the show notes, we're diving into more, many of the common questions and issues new core cutters face with the hope of giving you all the information you need to pick what's right for you and avoid many of the common mistakes new core cutters make and hopefully help you break free from that high overpriced contract of cable TV. Today we're looking at live TV streaming services. There are a ton of them. We're going to kind of take a look at the top seven based on subscriber numbers. When I was adding all these up, all the smaller resellers and everything, there's probably about 20 live TV streaming services with more on the way. Uh, at the time I'm recording this in December 2018, these are the top seven based on subscriber numbers. Now, if you want a side-by-side -side channel comparison, because we're going to dive into the pros, the cons, some of the features that you really need to know about each one. But it's impossible for me to list every channel each service has here in a video. I have a link, though, to a chart that you can download as a PDF or view on a website that will list each service with each channel they have right next to each other. So you can look at that. That link's down in the show notes down below. If you ever find that is the an outdated version, I'll try to update this every month. We post an updated version of that chart every month over at corecardsnews.com. And the menu at the top, just select Beginner's Guide to Core Cutting, and right there you'll find a guide for cable channel streaming online. So let's dive into this. But first, one note of warning here. You're probably going to have friends or family say, hey, I use X service. I have YouTube TV, and that is by far the best service. And that may be true for them. But for you, you may have other needs and other channels you want. So don't just assume because somebody told you this is the best service that it is. Really? All these services are great options, and you really should pick the one for you because you won't go wrong. It really is going to come down to which one has the features you want and which one has the channels you want. So don't be afraid to get something that maybe your family member, your brother, your sister, your parents may use a different one, but that's fine. Just you won't go wrong with any of these. All right, let's dive into it today. First up, what is a live TV streaming service? Well, they are basically services that take cable channels and stream them online. You're probably saying, Luke, why would you do that? Why would you want it streamed online? We could get um, it through cable or satellite TV. Well, the short version of that is a couple reasons. A, it is often cheaper than um, a traditional cable package. There's no contracts. There's no uh, long-term agreements you have to go through, no credit checks, and they don't have all the little knick-knack fees on it. So no you know, HD technology fee, no regional broadcast um, fee or regional sports fee, broadcast TV fees, the list goes on and on. With these, you have the ability to pay for it when you want it and how you want it. And they are cheaper for a variety of reasons. One of the things I love about streaming services is the ability to say, hey, I want this for football season. Once football season is over, I'm going to go and cancel it. And with cord cutting, you can do that. Where with cable, you're stuck in a two-year agreement or whatever the contract you may have signed. So keep in mind, this gives you access to cable and in many markets, local um, channels. But it doesn't include me the long-term fees, contracts, and more that you would get with a traditional cable TV package. So let's dive into these. Now, one thing before we get started real quick, these are in no particular order. Don't think just because I show one before the before a different service that I'm saying it's somehow better. I'm just trying to give you information and you pick what is the best option for you. So Sling TV is one of the original live TV streaming services. Um, the first one to really hit big in the United States and be available nationwide. Starts at $25 a month, making it one of the cheaper options out there. There is an additional cost for DVR, but they do offer it as an option. Um, and the great thing about it is, while it's got limited hours of storage of 50, there is no um, need to worry about having to del or losing something. With a lot of other services, after X amount of days or weeks or months, it automatically deletes. Sling TV is one of the few ones that if you record something, it's always going to be there as long as you keep paying for the service. They do offer many add-ons, so it starts at 25, and you can build in what they call a la carte TV, but it's more of an add-on package system. So you can say, hey, I'm a sports fan for five bucks, I wanna get the sports add-on package, or I have kids, so I'm gonna get the family channel so I can get um, package, so I can get 
ones like Disney Junior, Disney XD in there, and more. So it allows some flexibility, but again, you gotta do your research to pick out what you want here. But with most live TV services starting at 40 bucks, starting at 25 gives you a lot of flexibility to build a package the way you want it and get that, um, that channel app you desire. There is a downside though. One of the main things I hear about Sling TV as a downside is no Fox News and no Big Ten Network. Um, unfortunately, they don't offer that, but they do offer other channels that others don't. For instance, they have the Pac-12 Network instead of the Big Ten Network. They also include many other popular news organizations and other popular channels like the Hallmark Channel that not all streaming services offer, including NFL Network and NFL Red Zone. So keep that in mind. All right, let's jump into PlayStation View. PlayStation View is one of the other oldest streaming services on the market right now. It starts at $45 a month. Um, and with that, you get a bigger um, number of channels at start, but you're also paying more upfront with it. It does have additional tiers above that and some additional add-ons. There is no need for a PlayStation. This is one of the most common things I hear. Oh, I love PlayStation View. They got a great channel lineup, but you know, I don't own a PlayStation. Don't really want to replace my Roku, so I'm not going to get it. Well, good news is you don't need a PlayStation. Now, I really wish Sony would change the name because View TV or Sony View would be a much better name. That would probably get them a lot more subscribers without all the confusion. But the good news is you can easily um, watch it on Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV, and more devices out there. Next up is it does include a DVR, but it's only about 30 days. Now the DVR does allow you to um, have pretty much unlimited storage. There's a few drawbacks to it after that time frame. If it hasn't re-aired and re-recorded, it will be removed from your DVR. Also, I wish it offered a little bit more control over what you recorded. For example, recently with college football, I was gonna be gone, wanted to watch a college football game, scheduled it to record, only to discover it recorded every single <laughs> game, a college football game that aired on ESPN that day which was kind of cool a lot of games out there downside is it lacks the ability to say just record this one episode just record um new or and so on when you add something to your favorites it records everything so just keep that in mind the other main downfall for playstation view is no viacom channels while it does have a huge lineup of channels and a lot of features people really love with really great local support in most of the united states you will find your locals there are no Viacom channels at this time. Hopefully they strike a deal to bring Viacom channels back because they used to have them, but as of today, it's not there. So keep that in mind. Next up is DirecTV Now. Now, DirecTV Now is owned by at t It's the streaming version of DirecTV Satellite. Starts at $40 a month, has additional packages on top of that. Now, you, um, it does include a 20-hour DVR. They have talked about adding additional DVR storage in the future for an additional cost but as of today it includes a 20-hour dvr included with the service it does include some channels others commonly don't the weather channel being one of the ones that could be harder to find that direct tv now offers um, but it is a uh, it does include many other the popular channels from esp um, espn to disney channels to fox owned channels and um, nbc universal channels it's a pretty aggressive lineup included with it one of the main downsides is android tv support's not there um we don't know about android tv support being added they are available on roku's apple tv's fire tv's xbox app is in development we have confirmed that but it's, this time it's not available so keep that in mind one thing with this you probably heard there was a lot of discounts like if you had at&t unlimited you could get 15 bucks off a month most of those discounts have come to an end sadly um, so if you're hunting for those, those at this time has come to an end and doesn't look like DirecTV is going to bring it. Now, if you have that discount and you're already a customer, as long as you maintain your um, subscription, you will continue to get those discounts. So keep that in mind. Next up is Hulu. Now you're probably saying, Luke, Hulu's on demand. Well, they recently launched a live TV um, version of it. it starts at $39.99 um, a month for that. Um, it does... If you are a Hulu subscriber, you can get it for $32 extra on top of your limited commercial or um, commercial free plans. Now, if you do have the commercial free plan of Hulu, this confuses some people, and you add the live TV. Live TV still can, includes whatever 
commercials were on that channel. That commercial free plan is in regards to on-demand content included in the normal Hulu package. So for example, if you're watching a show um, that's available only to live TV customers on demand, um, for instance, for a while, uh, Rick and Morty was one that confused all people because seasons one and two were commercial free. Season three wasn't available on standard Hulu, but if you had live TV, you got it, but included commercials because it was a part of the live TV service. Hope that kind of clarifies it. So the commercial free plan is only on Hulu on demand content. Anything that comes with the Hulu live TV has the same commercials you would get from YouTube or TV or Sling TV or PlayStation View, etc. Um, it does include a DVR. There are some limitations on your ability to fast forward through commercials. Keep that in mind. You can pay an additional fee to get around that. Um, just something to know about. Um, now, again, it does include Hulu's limited commercial plan. So that $39.99 price is with access to everything that Hulu currently offers. Given Hulu really, Hulu Live TV really the biggest catalog of on-demand content, because not only do you get the standard on-demand content from that channel, you also get Hulu's huge back catalog of on-demand content plus Hulu Originals, all included with your subscription. Again, though, even though Hulu has an Android TV app, their Hulu Live TV does not support it. It's the older on-demand only version of Android TV. But Hulu is pretty much on everything else. YouTube TV or uh, Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV, Android, iOS. The downside is when you use a Roku, Fire TV or Apple TV and you want to take it outside your home, it won't work. Hulu's Live TV will work on phones, tablets and laptops outside your home. But on streaming players, it's limited to inside your home only. So keep that in mind. Next up is YouTube TV, one of the newer entries into the live TV streaming wars. It costs $40 a month, um, which is, for channel app, not bad. They have recently been adding more channels. It One of the biggest sound points, though, or excuse me, first, though, don't forget, it's not available in all areas. Nowadays, it's available in most parts of the United States, but they've been kind of waiting until they get most locals. So keep that in mind, that most locals... Um, have to be available before they'll launch in an area. Chances are, if you're listening to this video, there's a 90% chance you can get it if you live within the United States. There is a nine month of DVR storage available with this, and it does um, have you know pretty good features there. They did remove the fact that you used to not be able to fast forward through commercials. Now on most channels, not all, but most, very rare you'll find one that doesn't allow this, you can now fast forward through um, commercials with your DVR. The downside though is there is no Fire TV support. Um, Google and Amazon have been kind of fighting. Google pulled their YouTube app. There is a browser on the Fire TV you can kind of use to get around this. Some people have reported it's been, uh, YouTube works really well. YouTube TV can be kind of buggy a little bit, but it is an option. If you have a Fire TV, I would not run out and, and replace it until you try and see if you're happy with the browser version of this. So keep that in mind. Next up is Fubo TV. Now this is an uh, independently owned one where a lot of these are owned by bigger companies. Fubo TV is its own. It starts at $39.99 for the first month and then depending on which package, somewhere in the $40 range after that. It does have a huge lineup of sports. Um, though it's missing a few important ones like ESPN, we'll cover that in a minute. It does include a DVR, and it's one of those where if you record it, you got seven amount hours, it doesn't expire. If you want to, though, you can buy additional DVR storage and really have a huge DVR catalog. Again, though, one of the main negatives to Fubo TV is no Disney or ESPN, but they really do have a huge catalog of channels here. Uh, sports channels, some lesser known ones, some very popular ones, include NFL Network, um, and many of the big sports networks are included with it. So if you're a sports fan, check this out. Fortunately, if ESPN is what you need, this may not be a right fit for you. Next up is Philo. Now Philo is, again, one of the newer streaming services out there and does something really cool. They start at just $16 a month and has a pretty impressive channel lineup, um, including the Hallmark Channel, A&E, AMC, 
Um, Discovery Networks has a good lineup on here. Uh, Scripps Networks are on here, like Sci Science Channel, HDTV, and more. The downside to that is they don't include most sports networks and they don't include many of the news networks. So you're not going to find CNN, Fox News on here. You're not going to find the Weather Channel. You're not going to find ESPN or Fox Sports. You're also not going to find Disney-owned channels or Fox-owned channels and Comcast-owned channels because they want you to bundle sports channels with it. But if you don't care about sports, and there, let's be honest, nowadays news, there's so many options to get news. You don't really need a traditional cable network because you can get um, CBS News and more out there. So if you're not really tied to a MSNBC or a Fox News, um, you may want to check this out because, hey, yeah, you can get your Walking Dead. You can get your uh, Hallmark movies for Christmas. You can get a huge catalog of Discovery Channels and more all for just $16 a month to $20 a month. It does include a lot of Viacom channels too, so things like um, MTV will be found here. So it's a pretty cool service. It does include a DVR for that price. It's a decent DVR. But again, the downside here is no, um, pretty much no live TV. There are a few like BBC World News and Cheddar's on here, but when people ask me about news, they're typically asking about Fox News and CNN and MSNBC. Those aren't there. Um, unfortunately. And most sports, no Fox Sports, no CNN, no regional sports networks. Um, you're not going to find um, many of the most popular sports channels here. So keep that in mind. But if you don't care about sports, news you're happy with other means, Vilo is a service you probably should check out. It has a really good lineup there. All right, so that is my breakdown of many of the most popular ones. Again, in the show notes, I have a side-by-side -side channel list. Uh, I thought this video would be kind of boring if I just scrolled a channel list. And by going to corecarsnews.com, through that link down below, you can download a PDF to look at, print it off if you want to. You can search it. Um, just use the um, on your Windows computer, like Control-F, to type in um, the Hallmark channel. And then see all the channels that include or all the services that include the Hallmark channel. So check that out for a nice interactive option there and a downloadable PDF to decide which services really are right for you. If you have more questions, we're here to help you. Of course, you can leave a comment on this video. We'll do our best to answer them. Or heck, if you will go over um, to the Facebook group, Core Cutting Tech Support, there's 46,000 people who do nothing but answer core cutting related questions. You wanna learn more about core cutting? This is just a tip of the iceberg. Again, I have a link to the other three parts we've already published about getting started with core cutting. We'll be doing more of these videos in a playlist that will be added to the one I've linked to down below. Or go over to corecarsnews.com where we post every day all types of news um, stories with great details all about the world of core cutting. You can email us there. We'll do our best to answer your emails as we can. We get so many, it's sometimes very hard to answer all of them very quickly. So I do recommend checking out either leaving a comment here or going over the core cutting tech support on Facebook. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up. It's a huge help. And check back for more core cutting news, tips, tricks, and how-to guides.